Hi viewers, welcome to Postmate Media. This is a channel where we share the word of God from the men of God across the world. In today's video, Apostle Joshua Seman, the lead pastor of Eternity Network International, talks about our reality in Christ. As a believer, our reality in Christ goes beyond what we might be passing through, beyond our financial report, beyond our medical report. There is a reality in Christ. Wonder how many dreams you had that are a lie. I wonder how many conversations, how many reports you have been holding. You have been piling up lies in your life. I bring you Jesus the truth. Jesus the truth. The truth about your health. The truth about ministry. Who told you you cannot become successful because you are doing ministry in Lagos. Hear the report of Jesus the truth. Gideon heard a lie. He believed that lie. And a warrior was hiding because he was dwelling in a lie. An angel appears to him and says, Hear the truth. You are not a weak man. Although you came from the least of the tribes, you are a mighty man of valor. Let me call upon someone by the spirit of the living God that the weakness, the lies of the devil that has pressed you down, maybe because of your past maybe because something happened around your life i say it again the truth is beyond an unacceptable statement any reality that has not secured the endorsement of god is called a lie last i checked my bible there was an interesting statement that adds up to what i'm saying let god be true ah is that in your bible let god be true and your medical report a liar let god be true and your financial statement a liar let god be true and all the negative dreams by the devil that because your father died at a young age most likely you will also die at a young age jesus the truth let me tell you what the truth says about you he calls you the head and not the tail let me tell you what the truth says about you that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall hurt you listen this is not pentecostal gibberish it has not happened simply because you don't believe it when it is to you just a religious statement you will never see it work for you when i read my bible the truth told me that I can be exalted above all the nations of the earth and these blessings can come upon me and overtake me. I believed it. The last time I read my Bible, it says love never fails. That means anything that is failing, add love to it. It stops failing immediately. And that love is not an affection, it's a person. I can fail alone, no doubt. But me and Jesus cannot fail. We are, we are a twin combo. His presence negates that I fail. So he says, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall. Let me speak to some business person here. Affected by COVID. Affected by all kinds of things. And the devil has lied to you. This conference was designed to reveal Jesus as the truth. Hear me, nations of the world jesus still remains the truth the truth about god's idea on you do you believe this jesus the way among the many methods many 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 of them trial and error in their pride and confidence they propose to show you the path to glory the path to prosperity the path to greater enlightenment but here jesus comes with audacity and says i am the way so when you come forward to make it right with jesus is beyond just becoming a christian you are honoring the proposal offered by the way there are many ways he says that seem it right to a man in fact paul says there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification then he says i am the truth isn't it amazing how noisy lies are switch on your tv and you hear things that god did not say walk around and you hear things that god did not say because satan is the master of the sense realm he will amplify the voice of pain amplify the voice of unemployment amplify the voice of the misunderstanding you have with your husband and your children and create a narrative out of it and sell it to you 
when the lie remains for a long time it can sound like the truth ask the woman who had been bent over for 18 years she was living in a lie she went to church on sunday and she heard all kinds of lies hear what the truth said when he came he looked at her and said woman thou art loose from your infirmity and when they questioned him he said ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom satan had bound lo these 18 years only god knows what other narrative she had heard there was a woman with the issue of blood when jesus was on his way to heal jarius's daughter when jarius's daughter was born that was the day her issue of blood started they were all 12 years and that woman was in pain and jesus was going to heal jarius's daughter and he said no that girl was born when my problem started and they told me one day go better now i've known that statement is a lie jesus you are passing i know that it's not time that changes things is when i engage my faith if i may but touch the hem of your garment there was a man at the pool in john chapter 5 called bethesda please be sensitive i want to pray for you tonight john 5 he had been there for 38 years the longest time we know from scripture where a man lived with tragedy the bible does not tell us how long job lived with his tragedy but in recorded time the bible will usually tell us how long pain lasted 12 years 18 years and here was a man 38 years imagine when he was three years old in that condition i'm sure he felt by five years i should be done five years became ten years because nothing changes until jesus comes and based on what they told him and the bible also recorded it that it is once a year that an angel would come and stir the water and the tragedy of that man he explained it to jesus why are you in this condition and he said i have no man there is no advantage of favor from men that when the water is stirred, before I get there, the one who has men will step in before me. And Jesus said, I have come to you now. That means jumping into the water was not the only way to be healed. That was the only way she knew. The same way, thank God for medicine and medication, I'm not against it. But that is not the only way to walk in health. There is still another route a more superior route in fact is called jesus the truth hallelujah it is true that based on the world system you save you invest you can get gradually build a house or buy a house that is true but when god comes he can tell you i can bring you into prepared blessings and listen this is not just some pentecostal gibberish to encourage lust is the truth there is a system of advantage that believers have in their dealings with God. We are not all left to ourselves. We are encouraged to be diligent. We are encouraged to walk the laws that have been put in place. But to walk with an awareness that under a certain conditions, by this time tomorrow, a man's life can change. My question for you tonight is how many lies have you believed in? How many lies have you built your spiritual life around? How many lies have you built your ministry around? That you must be responsible for the payment of every block that builds your church. You will be ready for headache. There are various ways. Even a fish by God's instruction can bring coin. Fishes don't eat coin. But not when God is speaking.